welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this easy Valentine's Day makeup. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's easy enough to follow for you if you are trying to follow it, if you're just watching for the sake of watching, enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's get into the makeup. I start the video with my concealer and my eyebrows already done because everyone's eyebrows are different. So there's no point showing you how I do mine. <laughs> and if you do wanna know how I do mine, I've done it in previous videos. So go back and watch them. Anyway, let's get into the makeup. I hope you enjoy. So I'm just gonna clip this bit of hair back so that I can actually do my eyeshadow without it being in my face. So yeah, we're just gonna do the look you saw at the start there. Obviously I've got concealer and stuff on my eyes and then I've set it with my usual talc. And then I'm just gonna go in with this one. And then just chuck that like all over my eyelid and whatnot as like a like a base shade or whatever. Um, if you're wondering, this is the Morphe 35OM palette. Mine's very beat up, but... Okay, I found the palette that I have that has the little mirror in. So I'm literally gonna most likely only be using this brush for all of my eyeshadow stuff. I might change, but generally you you only need this one brush for what I'm doing here. This is my contour palette thing, highlight contour, whatever. I don't use the highlight or the bronzer, I just use this one. But anyway, what I do is I take my bronzing slash contour shade and put that on my eyes every day. It works well for this look because I'm trying to keep the eye kind of natural. So I've got a load on the end of the brush, tap it off and then just, um, how am I gonna explain that? Not on your eyelid, kind of like in the crease, but obviously blend it out to your eyebrow because just do it, okay? Okay, so you can kind of see what I've done here. I've literally just covered my bit between my eye crease and my eyebrow in this dark brown color. So you're gonna wanna do the same to the other eye, obviously, so let's do that. Okay, so I've done both eyes now, and just to make sure that it's all nicely blended and whatever, that shade that we used from this palette earlier, which is this one here, I'm just gonna go back over the top with that, so that it's, I don't know why. Okay, so that's that done. Um, and then we're gonna wanna take my foundation brush, obviously it's got a product in it already, I use it for my concealer. And see here, like I've blended the, uh, the brown out quite far, so I'm just gonna go into that and make it look more like it's where it's meant to be, okay? Okay, I'm hoping you can tell on camera, but like, yeah, it's more in my eye area now. <laughs> and then sometimes it's worth just using like the brush with hardly any product on and just go back over the edges to make it blend into your outside foundations. Okay, I lied, I need a different brush. A kind of similar brush, but not a similar brush at all. I'm gonna use this kind of brush, and as always, I don't know what these brushes are called cool or what they're meant for, but I'm gonna use this for eyeshadow, and I'm gonna go for this shade here. Also from the same palette, but I'm sure you guys have noticed that. And then just sort of do the same thing again, but don't blend it up as high. So yeah, we're just keeping it more in the crease, okay? Just like that, that's what we're going for. And then same thing again, just, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna put eyeliner on so the edges don't really matter, but it's still worth doing this in case you decide you don't wanna put eyeliner on. And then obviously do the same to the other side so you don't look weird. Okay, so that's both eyes done. I will go in after my eyeliner and stuff, after everything basically, and do the under eyeshadow. Because I don't have my foundation on, it's pretty pointless putting it under there now, because I just wipe it away again. <laughs> okay, and just to finish off the eye completely with that shade that we used earlier, this one here, just put that on your eyelid so that it sort of just looks better, okay? It's sort of, I guess it makes the eyeshadow look seamless because otherwise it's just foundation on my eyelid. I'm sure it doesn't look that different on camera or maybe not in real life, but I think it helps, so do it. All right, so now it is time for eyeliner. This could go really wrong, but hopefully it doesn't. So when I do my eyeliner, I tend to draw 
When I do my eyeliner, I tend to go right across my eyelid. It doesn't really matter, just make sure that there's a blank line there. And I just follow the end of my outer corner up to my eyebrow sort of thing. I'll show you now, but like, basically that's what I do. Um, I've just realized you can't really see what I'm doing. I think what I'm gonna have to do is show you in stages because when I do this, my hand covers the thing. I've got my head tilted up so that I don't print that up onto my eyeshadow, but this is basically the kind of line that I do. I literally just go right across the edge. It's quite a thick line as well, so and it doesn't have to be perfect right away. Um, so yeah, that's the line that I use to go off of. You can just do the wing first or whatever, but I've always just done this. I'm just gonna go along the bottom of the black line. So as you can see, that is nowhere near a perfect wing. I think a lot of people expect their eyeliner to go well, like from the first stroke of the brush, but like it's just a matter of knowing how to fix it when you've messed up. Or like, I haven't messed up here, this is how it always looks before I fix it, but you can see what I'm going for, right? So you can see here that I've started to tidy up that wing a bit. Obviously I haven't attached it properly yet, but it's looking a bit more wingy. Obviously I like my eyeliner to be quite thick, and I can only recommend that you look up your eye shape and the recommendations for how to do eyeliner for how your eye is, because it really, really does depend on the shape of your eye, on how thick and how thin, and what angle and stuff you should have your eyeliner at so that it looks good. So yeah, just look that up and then follow that. Or even don't wear eyeliner with this look, you don't need eyeliner. Okay, so I've just started to attach my triangle to my eye. I forgot to say that I was doing that or show that I did it. So you just wanna bring that down and attach it to the, the black line you've just made. And there we go, we have a wing. I've just realized that I haven't been telling you what I'm actually using. The Contour palette that I used is Revolution, so I don't know what it was called. Oh, there we go, it's on the back. Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit, Ultralight slash Medium. I got this from, I think, Beauty Bay, but you can probably get it anywhere. My eyeliner is the same old eyeliner I've always used, and it is the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Matte Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my other eye, and then I will have two wings. Okay, so it turns out I wasn't recording when I did my foundation just then, but I've done my eyeliner, obviously I have two, two wings going on. Don't worry about them being too even or whatever, as long as they look kind of the same, it's fine because we're gonna put lashes on anyway, and lashes will hide every single mistake you make. Yeah, basically what I do for foundation is I just put a couple of dots on and I use a foundation brush. Obviously this is really gross at the moment, it's full of product, but I literally just blend this into my skin. It works a lot better when this brush is clean as well, but it still does the job. Uh, so I use the Maybelline New York Dream Satin Liquid in the shade Nude. So the thing about this foundation is it's really good for my skin. I have combination skin. It doesn't stick to my dry areas and it doesn't make my oily areas any worse than they already are and it's really buildable. So when I've got dark patches from acne scars or just spots that have come out, then, you know, I can build it on top of it and I don't have to worry about it looking cakey, which is great. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the foundation and not that it you can see on camera, but like these colored, but you can see the bump here. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny dot here. Oh, that's not really tiny. Never mind. Like I said, this foundation is buildable, it does a good cakey. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, which is also full of makeup because I haven't washed it in a little while. I don't ever wet my beauty blenders, mostly because my foundation and my concealer seems to just work wrong with them. So like it all breaks and it cracks and stuff and it just, the formula doesn't like water, okay? And I think this is a good point to uh, mention, just because people say that you're meant to do makeup a certain way, you don't have to do it that way. Like whatever works for your skin and your face and whatever, just do it the way it works for you. Don't worry about doing all the concealer under the eye crap and whatever else actual gurus and makeup artists tell you to do because that doesn't work for every single person. So there's my life lesson for this video. Okay, so that is foundation done. Now I need to set my face. If you've watched <laughs> a makeup video of mine before, you know I set my face with baby powder. So I'm gonna take this brush and go underneath my eyes with 
the towel just like that not too much not too little just enough to spread around my under eye i just use this small brush to go under my eyes so that it actually gets set otherwise it's not set <laughs> take the bigger version of the brush i just used and tap it underneath my cheekbones like this so that all of my foundation is nice and dry. And then I take this big fluffy brush and just chuck it all over my face. Um. Okay, so that is my face all set. And now obviously my face is whiter than the rest of me. Oh, well, maybe not my hands, but like hair is a lot more colorful. I have two blushes that I'm running out of quickly. So I use this one sort of more on my cheeks and this one more on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm just gonna take this angled whatever brush, and pull out all of the bristles that aren't good anymore. Just gonna really go in on this and take a nice amount of that and um, put it on the apples of my cheeks. Now seeing as this is a Valentine's look, this is a look you could wear anytime, but I'm calling it a Valentine's look for views. But as it's a Valentine's look, you wanna look like an anime character and you wanna look embarrassed and cute. Um, a thing about blusher as well, I don't know if this is just a me thing, but I find that it fades very fast. It's probably the products that I'm using because they're not expensive at all and they're not necessarily pigmented like i'm putting a lot on for this to show up like this by that rule i put a lot of blush on and then by the time i have to go out it's faded or whatever so yeah oh i've just gone into this one for here and i don't think it looks that different on camera but it's a slightly more orangey toned blusher and on the other side and then with this blusher or the other blusher or whatever whichever one you want to choose um, just put this on the end of your nose, or, or don't, but this is something I like doing. And then we're gonna take this fluffy brush that has a little bit of talc still left on it and buff it in so that it's not so intense. Uh, by the way, if you can hear clicking and stuff in the background, that's while editing a video, so go and watch that video, guys. <laughs> okay, now with that same brush that we used for blusher, we're gonna go and that eyeshadow shade that is actually contour. So just do a little bit at a time. This doesn't look like a little bit on camera, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we're just gonna blend it in and it doesn't matter how dark we look. I'm gonna go under here and here and here, make that jawline look snatched. And then contour your forehead if it's big. When you've got all that going on, just blend it out with that big fluffy brush again and it should look okay at the end. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of contour and I always put it on my hand first because look how much of that comes off on this brush. Just follow from underneath my brow and then just do a straight line. Amazing, a contoured nose, guys. Okay, let's put on highlight. So the highlight that I use is my As The George Highlight Palette. It literally cost me like a fiver and for some reason it's really good. So these are the four shades that you get in the palette. It's, yeah, here's what you get. It's obviously very messy, I've been using it. So well, what I usually do is I just go across these two, the pink one and the gold one, really pack it onto this fan brush that I got with the Bretman Rock Morphe highlight palette. And then just put it wherever highlight's good for you guys. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush with the same two and put it on the end of my nose. Oh my gosh, it looks so much more intense on the camera than it does in real life. With the contour blush, whatever brush that we just used, I'm just gonna go back over it to make it a little less intense or make it blend to my skin so it's not just sitting on top. So just with the lighter pink, a ish shade we're gonna go in the in a corner here and on the other side and then a little bit of the gold under the brow okay there we go so that's highlight contour blush and face stuff done and now we're gonna have to do the lashes okay so the lashes that i use are the um pinky goat lashes in the style Nora. I use these every single day. And um, so yeah, these are the lashes I will be wearing right now. Okay, so that's one lash on. I haven't put any mascara or anything on, so that's why you can probably still see like white lashes. Um, the good thing about wearing thick eyeliner is that you don't have to worry about where you put your lashes too much because you can't see them. <laughs> 
Okay, cool. We have two eyelashes now. So I need to go back in and do the under eye eyeshadow. And I'm literally gonna take this small-ish brush, very small brush. Uh, if you can see the seam here, it's because I stood on it once and I snapped it and stuck it back together with nail glue. I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is like the darkest shade I put on my eyelid and just put it underneath my eye, or at least on the outer corner to, to make the eyeshadow look seamless. That's what we're doing here. And then I'm just gonna take some of the contour shade as well to go sort of more on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, there we go. So we've got sort of like a brown, smoky eye look going on. And now would be a good time to put mascara on my bottom lashes. And if like me, you are incapable of doing bottom mascara without getting mascara all in your under eye, just give it a minute or so until the mascara is dry and then grab a cotton bud, so like an earbud, to tidy up your under eye in a second. All right, so now that's cleared up, we're gonna do a classic red lip because Valentine's Day means red, right? <laughs> I'm gonna take my Jeffree Star uh, liquid lips and this is Unicorn Blood. I've had this one for a little while, which is why all, this, all of the stars and stuff have come off here. And then I've got other red, which is called Red Rum. So I'm gonna go around and sort of outline my lips slash overline my lips with the unicorn blood and a, just a normal paintbrush. And then I'm gonna go and put this sort of in the middle. So it's almost like an ombre lip, probably an ombre lip, or it might not even look like that. Now the end of these lipsticks are really good for lining your lips anyway. I just find it easier to use this. Um, but obviously do what you want with your lipsticks, guys. <laughs> okay, so that's that part done. And I'm just gonna go in with red rum and put it all over my lips. Okay, and there we go. This is the finished look. Chucked on a red top because it looked better. This is my simple uh, Valentine's Day look. It's basically just a red lip and eyeliner. Okay guys, I hope that this video was easy enough for you to follow. You are trying to follow it at least. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and comment down below what you'd like to see next. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video from me. I'll see you next time.